Scorpios, this is your bonus reading for July. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so the first card that came out of the deck for you was the Five of Swords. Okay, and the Three of Wands. So you may be waiting for someone to get in contact with you. Okay, this person is being manipulative. They're wanting to win in this situation. So I see someone uh, being stuck in their pride and ego and possibly wanting to reach out to you but not doing so because they feel like they don't want to lose. That's petty, right? Yeah, but that's what I see here. Um, I see someone feeling like, you know what, if I reach out first, this person is going to feel like they have the upper hand or something like that, which is very um, petty and immature, but that's what I see happening here. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? All right, so we also have the Page of Pentacles. So I do see this person coming back in with some sort of offer for you. Could be a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, this person may come back in kind of fast, especially if you hold off Scorpio and you don't reach out to this person, they're going to rush in. So if both of you guys are holding off, just say you're holding off and you're being stubborn and you're not reaching out, and then this person is holding off, they're being stubborn and they're not reaching out, I feel like they're going to break. Okay, your person is going to break. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay, so we have the star card. So um, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you're still hanging on to hope and faith when it comes to this situation. I feel like you're not ready to let this person go, but you do see change here. Wow. Okay, so we have the King of Swords in the reverse. So someone could be very cold, very distant. Um, and I feel like this person has a lot to say, but they won't say it. Or it's like they know they need to fix something in this connection, but they're not doing it. Okay, so like I said, somebody's holding out. Spirit, what messages do you have? Yeah, two of swords. You also could be dealing with someone who has to make a choice between you and someone else. Or this could be you, Scorpio. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. But you may be needing to make a decision between your person and someone else. But the two of swords is the indication that someone is at a stalemate. They don't know what to do. They're stuck. They know they have to do something, but they haven't decided yet. Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh, okay. So that card flew on the floor and it was in the reverse and it is the Empress. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus and you can't get this person to see um, what's really happening or you can't get this person to see that they're wrong or being manipulative or they're not right in this situation. Not only that, but something is not moving forward. It's like you can't, because when the Empress is in the upright, it is birthing something, creating something, um, you know, something wonderful, something happy, something good. And I feel like with the Empress in the reverse, either some of you are pregnant and you're thinking about getting an abortion or you had an abortion or you lost the baby. And if you did, I'm sorry to hear that for those of you that this may be resonating with or with the Empress in reverse, something is not coming to fruition. Like you can't get this to move forward um, and you can't get it to cultivate. So whatever it is that you're trying to do here with this person, it's not working, but it's because this person is being stubborn. Spirit, what messages do you have for Tar Okay, for Scorpio? We have the Devil and we have the Seven of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. If not, you're in a toxic situation. And with the Seven of Cups, whoever you're dealing with, they have other options or another option. So it could be more than one person that they're dealing with or just one person. But with the devil here, it's also obsession, lust, temptation, sexual addiction, fantasy. So I feel like the person that if you're dealing with someone and they have more than one person and you know about it, it's not serious. But I feel like they like sleeping around with other people or they don't like committing to one situation so they like having more than one option and i feel like it's all a fantasy and an illusion for them with the seven of cups like it's not real okay they're not basing anything off of real connections and real relationships but this is what bothers you about this person because you're like what the hell are you doing like why is why are you sleeping around with all these people and i'm trying to have a connection with you and you can't settle down and give me that but you want to run the street and be with other people. Like, that's what I'm seeing here for some of you. 
Now, this may not resonate with each and every Scorpio out there, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like you've been more than fair with this person. With the Queen of Pentacles coming out, if you're not dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, you have been the Queen of Pentacles to this person, Scorpio. Okay, you've been very kind, very nurturing. You've been very helpful to them. Whatever they've gone through, you've been there. Even at times when you feel like you shouldn't and you should have trusted your judgment and turned this person down. They could have asked you for money or some sort of help. Um, I don't know. Whatever it was, I feel like you were there for them. And they're remembering it. They're knowing it. But I feel like it's something about this person where they're so their behavior is so used to getting what they want. It's like doing whatever they want to do. Not doing the right thing but doing whatever it is they want to do and getting away with it. And I feel like they thought they were going to come towards you and get away with it. Or maybe they have in the past and you haven't dealt with it, but now you're putting your foot down with this person and you're not putting up with it anymore. That's what I'm getting here. Oh, uh, yeah. The three of pentacles in reverse flew out of the deck. So you're not dealing with their crap. They're not dealing with their shit no more. You're not dealing with their crap. Mm -mm. You're not putting up with the three of pentacles reverse something yeah you're like i'm not being patient anymore like yeah scorpio some of you are like mm -mm, i'm pulling the plug on this some of you could have walked away or you're thinking about walking away you could have been dealing with the sagittarius as well but you don't see how you can make things work with the three of pentacles in reverse and the temperance if this person doesn't come in and reciprocate whatever the feelings are you're giving out so whatever the emotions and um the energy that you're giving to this connection if this person doesn't step up and give you the same thing you're thinking to yourself i don't know how this could possibly work and i might as well just let it go and walk away and go towards someone else or wait for someone else to come in because you just feel like this is no longer working for you i feel like for some of you you may feel like you're in a connection or you're in a relationship with this person but you don't even know like where are things headed what is this person's intentions you're like am i in a relationship with them like what are we doing and I feel like they come around sometimes and they make you feel like you are. And they they sort of like, um, I want to say shut up your holler or shut up your cry. So like, example, if you hear from this person on Monday and you're like, where have you been? I haven't talked to you all weekend. And they're like, oh, I was here. I was there. You know, it's nothing for you to worry about. We still together. You know, it's all good. It's like they talk to you like that. But then, you know, it's something going on and they're just not telling you. So it's not all good, but they're trying to make you feel and think that it is. And I feel like this person pulls away from you on purpose just to control the connection because they know that you really want to be with them and that you really want this relationship. And so I feel like they do it on purpose. Yeah, because somebody goes into hermit mode quite often. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. And you don't even understand why they're acting like that. It's like, why do you want to be with me on Thursday? And then I don't see you Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then you're reaching out to me on Tuesday acting like nothing has ever happened. Or nothing hasn't happened. Or I shouldn't be questioning you about anything. And then I feel like when you question this person, Scorpio, about whatever's going on, they start to place the blame on you. Or they act like, you know, you're wrong for questioning them. Or they try to treat you like you're crazy or something here. Spare, what messages do you have for Scorpios? We're going to pull some message cards, too, for your person. I feel like some of you were ghosted here, and it has something to do with the um, third-party situation, and they weren't telling you. For some of you, I feel like you have an online relationship with a person, and you have no clue what else is going on with them. Of course, because... You know, you only talk to this person on Skype or Zoom or whatever or FaceTime. And so you really don't know if they live in another state, another country or another city or whatever. You have no clue what's going on with them. So you can only go by what they tell you. But your intuition is telling you something different with this person. That's what I'm feeling here. Your intuition is telling you something different. But you're still hanging on with the four of pentacles. And they're still hanging on to it too. But you're trying to figure out what is it that you guys have. Like, what are we doing here? What do we have? I feel like some of you don't want to let this go. Now, also with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like this person may have lied about a job or money that they have. They may have promised to come see you or something. And then at the last minute, they pulled out. But it's because this person doesn't have money to do so. So if they pulled away at the last minute and didn't come see you or, you know, you guys made plans. And then at the last minute, they were like, oh, no, I can't make this happen. 
I feel like this person may have lied about something concerning money. Their money uh, may be like really, really low. They may be hanging on to it and they don't really have it, but they're not telling you. Yeah. Wow. Can't make it up. Seven of Swords just flew out of the deck with the Four of Pentacles. This person is being sneaky about their financial situation. They can't come and see you or they can't do, even if you don't, even if you're not dealing with a person that lives at a distance. For some of you, I feel like you are, but then for others, you may not be. Either way, I feel like this person lies about their financial status. So it's something where they may make you think that they have more than they do and they really don't. You may not even know where this person work at or something like that. And you may ask them and they may have lied to you about it or they don't tell you. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, verbal Taurus, or a Capricorn here. And I feel like um, you're ready to walk away from this person. Yeah, the magician in reverse. This person is extremely manipulative. It's like they're always trying to... Sorry about that, Scorpios. I was having camera problems all day. Okay, so like I was saying, with the magician in reverse, this person is always being manipulative, okay? They're always trying to make something work in their favor. So I feel like that's the type of person that you're dealing with here. And it's like you're tired of them lying about things. So it's like this person is not like truthful with you. And I feel like you know it. And some of the things you possibly don't call this person out on. But I feel like that's something that's going to stop. Wow, yeah. You have the Hierophant in reverse. It's something about this person not wanting to settle down and commit. It's like they still want to have a connection with you. But they don't want to do the right thing. It's like they want to be. They want their freedom. They don't want to feel restricted. And I feel like they may, um, you know, like avoid trying to talk to you about it or tell you when you act. So they tell you everything is okay, but it's really not. So we're going to go ahead and pull some message cards and see if this person ghosted you and, you know, and walked away and didn't tell you what was going on or if they're not calling you and you don't know what this person is up to. We're going to pull some message cards and see what they're feeling and what they're thinking. What messages do you have for Scorpio? What is their person feeling and thinking? Okay, so this one is to slide out of the deck. We have circumstances. There was a series of unfortunate events in my life. I had to disconnect from the world. It wasn't just you. All right, so for some of you, like I said, this person is not talking to you. They have something going on. They're not telling you about it. Now, this could be for those of you who have a connection that's online. Um, social media where you know you just FaceTime this person Skype or Zoom or whatever and that's the only way you get to see them okay they have something going on behind the scenes that they're not telling you about Spare, what messages do you have for Scorpios we have deception I lied to you so much trying to impress you I realized it was easier to ghost you than to tell you the truth. So, yeah, this person was lying about things. Like, I picked up in your reading that someone is definitely lying about their financial status, for sure, without a doubt, okay? And possibly, you know, lying about a third-party situation where they're still seeing you and someone else. All right, so we also have hurt. I need some inner child healing before I can cultivate any kind of relationship. So this person has inner childhood wounds okay so they went through some things in their childhood possibly in their teenage years or whatever and they have it um you know they didn't get any help for it and so they're still carrying around like that toxic energy so it's like when they treat people the way they do it's coming from or it's stemming from something that they went through in their childhood and they haven't healed from it Spirit, what messages do you have for scorpio what is their person feeling and thinking why did they walk away why did they ghost them here, what messages all right so these cards are flying to the side we have narcissism i wasn't getting what i wanted from you so i left to get it somewhere else okay spare what messages do you have for scorpio what is their person feeling and thinking all right we have differences i felt our relationship was too toxic to continue i had to just disappear so i feel like for some of you you weren't compatible with this person and you may have been willing to try to make it work and try to figure it out. But I feel like they already knew. For some of you, I feel like this person knew that they weren't going to be able to get on your level because it was just high. It was just like you expected too much out of this person. Rightfully so. I'm not trying to say that you were wrong for expecting a lot. Okay. Because you know what you deserve and you know what you want out of a relationship. But I feel like this person wasn't on your level and they weren't going to be able to give it to you. 
So instead of them being open and honest with you, they just ran off and turned their back. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? All right, so we have narcissism that flew out of the deck too selfish to realize my actions hurt you so this person hurt you but they were too selfish and you know they were self-centered they were thinking about themselves very egotistical narcissistic okay very arrogant and they weren't thinking about anyone but them they know they hurt you and they walked away this person is going to get their karma believe that okay because the universe sees all and doesn't forget anything <laughs> so all right this part I wanted to come out narcissism I got what I wanted out of the relationship it's always been about my own needs yeah see whoever feels this way about a situation like yeah you're gonna get your karma like people like this wind up meeting their match and so whatever they did to you they wind up having it done to them okay and they're able to see how it feels we're gonna get a couple more before we close out your readings Scorpio spirit what messages do you have for Scorpio what is their person feeling and thinking we have immature and insecurity. I'm stubborn and set in my ways. I saw that when I started your reading. I ran because I couldn't have it my way. I fear not being in control. I said that early on in your reading. I said somebody wants to control this connection and because they can't control it, they run away. And then we have insecurity. I thought you were involved with someone else. I didn't want to compete for your love. Okay, so we're gonna get one more. And then we have insecurity. I felt you were out of my league and didn't meet your standards. So I didn't bother to try to avoid disappointment. Yeah, they knew they couldn't keep up with you. They knew they didn't have money, maybe something they, they told you they had a house or they wanted to do better and bigger things with their life. I feel like they saw your life, they saw what you were doing and it impressed them. But when the time came for them to step up to the plate and match you toe to toe, they couldn't do it. So they ran, okay? So those are the messages that I have for your bonus reading, Scorpio. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Sorry about the cutoff, guys. I don't know what's going on with my camera, but I think I may have to um, wind up getting a new one. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at my cards never lie to row. I'm also on TikTok at the Empress 522, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.